So what you can do is you can interact with us, you can interact with the camera, you can look at me, you can look at the walls, look wherever you like, whenever you like. What? <laughs> Just be yourself. It's fine. Have to, you have to excuse my pink eyeshadow. <laughs> it's just, it's not coming off. It's a bit vague, isn't it? Okay, I am Juan Andres Cabrera Lopez and I am 19 years old. I'm James Murphy. I am Lewis Turner. I'm Alex. I'm Faye. I'm Jenna. The main character, Joshua Gosling. Duh. Ellie, but also Tay. My name is Amelie. Liz Tia. I'm actually called Elizabeth, but I like saying Liz because Elizabeth just sounds like a bit of a mouthful and it makes me feel like I'm being told off. Oh my god, this is like a model. Quirky. Quirky. Lad. So tall. Nice. <laughs> Diana. Reserved. Funny. Thirsty. He wasn't shy, but he was awkward and he was just like, he was like a, a big teddy bear. Also tall, also nice. Talented. I was kind of scared of him. When I first met Josh, he had glasses, so glasses and singing. Well, at the moment, he's very manic. <laughs> Funny. So talented. Gay. Very gay. He was doing his own little thing. Mysterious. Physical. Also mysterious. She'd been saying this whole time, she was gonna bring her choro maker and she never brought it. Disappointed me to be honest. Yeah, about a six out of ten. Oh, her face crazy. Sexy. Like straight A student kind of vibes. Kind. Churros. Nice. Sheep. Intelligent. Eccentric. Women's clothing section. Wise. Tall and Tory. Like shy and so quiet. Horrible. Intense. Shy. Also eccentric. Quiet and reserved. Talented. She was quite quiet, but I just remember thinking she had cool hair. Partner in crime. Pure. Precious. Horrible. Her appearances were rare. Intuitive. The nicest person in the world. Vegan dealer. Beauty. Sweet. I was gonna say, oh, no, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Performative. Welcoming. Oh, caring. She had her own car. Forehead sister. Very Essex accent. I loved Tay. I remember on the first day that we met, I can't remember if it's my mum or her mum, but they were like, yeah, let's not trust them two together. Caring. Very, very kind. Disney. Bouncing off the walls. Mean. Crazy and bubbly. Jolly. Cartwheel. So friendly. Just, she was so welcoming, which was really cute. Aesthetic. Thoughtful. Questionable. Catfish. Really quiet and, and really sweet as well. That changed. Very Hispanic. First, say hi to Monkey. Um, we have the original. Mike the trike, we saved him from a charity shop. Peanuts the elephant, who eats peanuts. Gregoria. Yeah. Oh, it was weird, because I wasn't on Facebook or anything, so I literally had no idea who the fuck was gonna be here. I'm just gonna be myself, just gonna be shy. And then suddenly I turn around and Tay's just there like, hi. The only person I'd kind of talked to was Jenna. Um, and as soon as I came in, she was like, hey! And then I remember her mum was there and she was like, see mum, look, I told you she had, she had really cool hair, which made me feel really nice. I arrived at the same time as Josh. Like we started moving in together and I only realized when I saw him in the flat that he was actually gonna be one of my roommates. I think it was nice. I think the first person I met from the flat was Jenna. She was really nice. She invited me in. When I came to the flat though, I met this guy, um, James. 
Yeah. My mum made me do a kind of um, icebreaker situation. She made me give everyone a doorstop so they would leave the, the doors open. James pretended to have an argument with everyone um, and flounced around the flat, slammed doors and was screaming at different people and people genuinely believed it. Um, uh, yeah, it was like flouncing around, slamming doors, like getting, getting people's faces like, I'm never coming back here, right? And then he fucking left and everyone was like, so yeah, that was, that's my favourite memory. When we're all in the kitchen and we just talk. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what your number is. Our Christmas dinner was fantastic. Uh, and then we saw Spider-Man afterwards. That was intense. That was so much fun. I got so drunk. And I forgot to put the um I forgot to put the, the Yorkshire puddings in the oven. So I had to cook them last minute, which was great. Hide and seek with Lewis hiding behind the curtain for about half an hour. The Icklist was entertaining. I liked the Icklist. The people. 411 is an interesting place. A bit problematic. Drama. There are a lot of problems. Personality clashes. It's a nightmare, isn't it? It's a mess. It's a nightmare, darling. The flat meetings. Yeah, they were the worst. As well, the Hoover smells like something died in it, so. This, this sinks like shit. We just proved that. I managed to burn chili. My shower is the worst shower on earth. It's freezing cold, every morning I'm suffering. When it's like 12 o'clock and you're in the perfect angle for the sun to fucking glisten right into your eyes, you can't see shit. There's always glass on the fucking corridor carpet, I'm sorry, like... Don't know if I can handle it much anymore. Tough luck, innit? The best thing about the flat is that everyone was just there. Like, I could just walk to someone's room and be like, hey. Although it's really dysfunctional, it kind of works in some way to actually form out to be a nice group of people. I personally love everyone in the flat and um, I think they're all really lovely people. I think the fact that we're all different makes it nice because nobody's in competition with each other. Um, and it's also like, if we have a question regarding certain things, like for example, geography, I'd go to Alex um, Spanish, I'd go to Juan. Um, anything to do with times and dates, I'd go to Josh. You've got Tay and Jenna like randomly walking on their hands and then meanwhile you've got, you know, like me having a lovely moment crying because I'm stressed. To sum up, 411 has been quite the experience. There's been highs, there's been lows and the flat atmosphere is something that I grew too dependent on because it was just so nice to have people around all the time and it feels really quiet without everyone yeah welcome to flat 411 don't know what we're doing this to be honest oh wow But I don't have an answer How come I'm still thinking Let's pretend to fall asleep now When we get old Will we regret this Too young to think About all that sh** And stalling only goes So far when you've got A head start Cause we can stay at home And watch the sunset But I get up from this morning
I really hope you're happy and I hope you're all nicer to yourself and I hope you appreciate yourself and yeah I hope you're a bit more happy than you are now sending love.